I was uh, writing an article on comparing QGit to Git client, which is a new um, fork of QGit that I was really excited about. And as I was doing all my screenshots, I realized this would actually make an easier video than having to spend a bunch of um, characters and screenshots explaining what I meant. So let's start off looking at um, Git, QGit. So uh, this is what I've been using for a few years now. And um, this is my uh, most complicated repo, um, the one that's got the most going on. Uh, and this is basically what it looks like in QGit. So right now, I've uh, I've committed everything here at the uh, devil branch. Um, and then as far as um, GitHub's concerned, right, the master is here, and GitHub to double is here. Uh, and you can go back and back and back and see all the different tags and all the different things that I've done with this program as I've been going through in Git. So uh, the nice things with QGit, right, is it makes it really easy to make a tag. Just go here, make a tag. Um, it'll, you, it'll give you a message to put in there. Um, and um, you can do checkouts, uh, you can view patches, all this type of stuff. Most of the time, um, all I'm I'm using is uh, the ability to put tags here and kind of visualize where am I. So um, if I push something, you know, w what are the relative um, branches looking like? Um, so the nice thing about the way QGit is set up, um, as you go through each of these, um, you've got your log, and then you've easily got your diff here. Uh, probably, there we go, this would be a better one to look at. So you go here, diff, you can kind of go through each of the files and see what changed. So it's all right, works okay. Uh, very old, um, very old uh, program, but it's still working all right. Uh, now let's take a look at git client, which again is a fork of QGit. So this is the exact same repo. Now this looks like a modern client, right? But it's not just about the looks, it's the way that it works that makes it um, so much more useful to me. So um, you saw before, if I wanted to look at, let me bring it up here, if I wanted to see, so I can tell the two branches I'm working on here, and probably for a project like this, where it's just me, it's it's probably not that big a deal. But if I wanna see all the possible branches, I have to right click here, go here, here's all the branches I've got. And for remote branches, here's all the remote branches. I've got to delete some of those. Some of those don't exist anymore on GitHub. And there's all my tags. But with Git client, that stuff's all right there on the screen to begin with. Um, here's all my branches. I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, I might need to do a, a bug report. Or maybe um, I need to do a push or pull here for um, Git client to figure out where it is compared to master and origin. Um, then here we've got our remotes. Here we've got all of our tags, um, any stashes or submodules, and then any staged or unstaged files. Of course, I've got no local changes at the moment. And then here's all my untracked files, which is awesome because I'm often um, hitting git status just to see what's untracked or git status to see what's unstaged or staged. Um, I'm doing that on the command line. And now um, if this thing, uh, I think here, I probably would need to, I don't know if auto fetch is fetching from GitHub or if it's how often um, the repo would update itself. But basically, if it's going um, as I'm typing, that would make it th that would make this as useful to me as Git Kraken is on Windows. And I really, really love Git Kraken, um, especially because on Windows, uh, GitHub or Git from the command line is a real pain in the butt. Here on uh, Linux, I don't mind doing Git stuff from the um, command line. Mostly I use clients like this for visualization because you can make graphs like this in Git uh, on the command line, but it's not necessarily the prettiest, doesn't exactly usually uh, make the most um, sense and easy to follow, right? Um, so, so this is the, you know, you're getting a lot more information here, a lot more information density, but in a really great way. I guess here's the refresh button in case that stuff doesn't refresh automatically in terms of what I'm staging, what what needs to be worked on. And then here I could just make my commit, boom. Um, uh, as I talked about in a uh, blog post, 
uh, for for this particular project, I'm usually doing my commits uh, within kdevelop. Um, but for my last FM Twitter, which is a much simpler project, you can even see the graph is just a straight line. Um, here, uh, I'm doing it in Kate. So um, making use of this could be pretty useful. And actually, um, I heard about Git client on the Kate blog, and they're thinking of integrating um, Git client into Kate. And I, I think the this author originally was looking at it as something that could be integrated into um, Qt. Uh, designer no not designer the other the other qt id so anyway so this would seem all sunshine and roses amazing really cool um like i said really useful there is oh yeah, and up here you can search by the long message which is great um there is one thing where um where uh the git uh qgit works a little bit better which is if i go here I see what my message was. Um, that's not necessarily the best thing here. Um, let's see if I find one where I put a like a longer description. Oh, here we go. Here I actually put a description, right? So, uh, and then here's um, here's the file. Now in in QGit, it'd be really easy to click and see the diffs. But here I have to go to the file, right click, and then do either diff or blame. So if I do diff now I can see the diff, um, and uh, oh, these are other things that I was diffing before. So you can kind of like queue up a bunch of them, which is kind of neat. So, so let me go back over here. Let's say uh, let's find a more complicated one. Here we go. So I could do here to. Uh, I guess I got to do them one at a time. So I can do diff. Uh, come back to repo view. Diff. So that's maybe I'd do a, a bug request to be able to select more of those at once. But yeah, so then I'd be able to look at the different diffs that are going on there, right? So that's pretty cool. And then you can come over here and do blame. That's something that QKit doesn't have. And so that's pretty cool. So you can kind of see here across the graph all the different things that I've done. And then so this is kind of like um, in uh, in uh, Git uh, GitHub has something like this now where you can kind of see all the things you changed and when you change them. Um, so I'm not sure about that particular error there because I do have obviously a Git repo going on. So again, there may be something where there's either a bug here or you know this is only the 1.0 product product, or it may be that um, so there's one I've got a lot of stuff written. Uh, it may be one of the cases where it just needs to like pull and push here so that the repo knows. Let me see what happens if I hit refresh. I'm hitting refresh. That didn't change anything there. Um, so, you know, there's still going to be some uh, learning curve, but I think it's really neat. Uh, I'm going to try messing with it for a while and try and give some some bug reports uh, to help it become even better. And then, oh yeah, right here, um, you can check out the branch, you can create the branch, you can merge it. So that's really cool. Uh, rename. So right now I've got the development branch as my um, as, as my main branch, which I guess is a slightly uh, emboldened on there. Um, but uh, so I don't Oh, here we go check out so I can check out and then I think if I if I check it out, then I'd be able to click here and then merge it in which is which is kind of neat. So again, you know, don't necessarily want to uh, take away everything that I'm doing on the command line. But if it helps visualize things and it helps prevent errors and it helps things work better. Um, I'm really in favor of using uh, a GUI with Git. And again, even if you end up still doing most of the stuff in the command line, just because it's easier or faster, or you can script it, um, being able to visualize these <laughs> crazy relationships here, um, I think is is really important in terms of being able to tell what's going on with your repo. Again, uh, for someone that's just me working on stuff, it probably shouldn't look this crazy. There's probably just some merging things I've done slightly incorrectly because I've taught myself, you know, get no one showed me how to do it or anything. But, um, you know, if you've got a whole bunch of people working on it, and you've got a bunch of branches and remote branches and different tags and stuff, I could see this being incredibly useful. All right. So uh, thanks for watching this uh, comparison of uh, Git client versus QGit.